Okay, so we'll see how long this review goes for, but I'm gonna be reviewing my Zeb OZ9. This is their original Zev OZ9. So there's a, um, a version two they just came out with not too long ago. Um, I think it was within this year they actually just came out with it, but um, this is the version they've, they've had out for a while. Um, and I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. Um, this is the most stock gun I own. Um, everything else that I own basically has mostly aftermarket parts on it. Um, this is definitely the most stock gun that I own. So I will go over it real quick. So I got this from Omaha Outdoors. It doesn't um, usually come with uh, night sights on it. <clears throat> But I had night sights added on it because I like I just like night sights. Um, all of my guns have night sights now, just because. Uh, well, I like having them on there, and uh, I like shooting with them. I genuinely do um, when I'm not running a, a red dot. So I'm also running a Trigicon SRO on this thing. I forgot what it was called for a second. This is the SRO. Um, this is the two and a half MOA dot one. Kind of get you a look at the the dot in there you can see that um that's been it's been a good optic so far um and then i am running the uh the shorty grip on this so this is the oz9 standard so this is a glock 17 sized slide with a 19 sized frame so i think they have uh is it the the glock 47 now I think that's, is that is that kind of like the equivalent to this now? I, I don't know. The Glock 47 is the newest Glock they just came out with. Um, I could be wrong on that. I probably am. Um, but I, I, I've enjoyed this gun for the most part up until recently. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a bougie, I'm a bougie, I'm a bougie dude now um, with all my, my compensated guns. Um, this is the only compensated pistol I currently have, or the only non-compensated pistol I currently have, um, and, uh, lately I just haven't really been liking this gun, um, it, it has a really, it does have a really nice trigger in it from the factory, um, I don't know how many pounds it is, but it has a very discernible wall, and then there's a little bit of creep in it, it breaks pretty solidly right at 90 degrees, um, this basically completely fixes what the, uh, the issues that Glock had, so it has larger, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, larger takedown levers on there. <clears throat> and uh, so it is really easy to take down. It also has this like low profile slide release. I have actually never had an issue with hitting this slide release um, when I'm shooting. On my Glock, I have the issue of I'll do, I'll, I'll kind of have my hand on this and then the slide won't lock back on an empty magazine. Um, this is an empty magazine. This is one of the, the Magpul mags that um, is a 10 rounder. Um, but this is a, I, I like the gun. Um, it did fix a lot of the issues that you saw with Glocks, but I'll, I'll kind of, I'll put my two cents in on it, I guess. Um, not that I'm the most reliable person to say this, but I actually, I've started to kind of dislike this gun. Um, it's just too bouncy for me. And, and what I mean by bouncy is just, it's, it has too much muzzle flip. I don't know what it is. I could probably change out the recoil assembly in it, but if I'm trying, if I'm trying to do a build drill with this thing, I'm I'm holding on to this gun pretty tight, and it just bounces all over the place. I don't know what it is about it, um, but it just bounces all over the place, and I'm I'm pretty certain it's the gun. It's not me. Uh, I like the gun. I really do. I like how it looks. Um, I like how it I like how it takes down. I like how I can change the grips out. Um, as I said before, this is the shorty grip. Um, so it takes Glock 19 size magazines, and then there's also their, uh, their full length, like 17 sized, uh, grip that obviously takes Glock 17 mags. So this would in, if I was not in a restrictive state, this would take a 15 round magazine. And then, uh, the longer grip would take a 17 round magazine. Um, 
but I, I do like the way this gun looks and I, I like the features that it has and I think that Zev was really on to something good. I just can't stand the performance of it. I don't know what it is. I just can't, I just can't get behind it. Um, and also this, this gun for some particular reason, I've had more malfunctions with this gun than any other gun, any other pistol that I have. Um, and it's the most stock pistol I have. So I don't really understand that. Um, I've had, in, I've had most of my issues with Winchester brass out of this. I mean, Winchester brass nine mil is pretty crap anyway. Um, but even blazer stuff, like it's not, it's not even a magazine issue. It's a gun issue. It'll, it'll, um, it fails to extract. So what, when the slide comes back, it won't, <clears throat> the, uh, extractor on this side, I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to clean it, but the extractor on this side, it won't catch on the casing and then it won't rip the casing out of the chamber. Um, so it'll cause all sorts of issues, but I don't think it's an ammunition issue, but the fact that it's given me so many issues, so many malfunctions, and um, it's just it's just given me so many issues. It, it's given me malfunctions, and the fact that it's so bouncy, I don't. I'll carry it every now and then, but it's definitely kind of made its way out of my carry rotation. I, I actually got so mad at it that I, the last time I was at the range, I just, I refused to clean it and I put it away. That's how mad I was at this gun. And I haven't been carrying it since. Um, I did witness mark my screws in here because this is an SRO and the battery loads from the top, um, which is cool. <clears throat> but it kind of makes me wonder, I'm like, man, should I, should I sell this gun and buy something different? Or should I kind of keep it and see what, you know, see what happens with it? It's just a pain, at least in New York State. It's a real pain to take guns off your permit. Um, and it's it's not like I can just, you know, it's not like I can just go to the gun shop and, and sell this thing and it be that easy. I have to um, fill out an amendment form and I have to go to the sheriff's office and have it taken off my permit. And it's it's just a real pain. And... I just don't know if it's worth actually getting rid of, you know. Um, but for for what it is and what it does, it's it's it does well. Um, I paid. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I bought this back in twenty twenty one, I believe, or was it early twenty twenty two? It was one of those. Um, no, it was definitely. It was like late. It was like October November of twenty twenty one. I think I bought this, and. Uh, <clears throat> I liked it, you know, I, I liked it when I first started shooting it, but um, now that all of my other pistols are compensated, this gun is kind of, kind of just sits in my safe at this point. It's not really something that comes out that often. Um, and I forgot, yeah, I paid about, I think it was like 2000 dollars for this gun. Um, and for a $2,000 gun, I'm kind of unimpressed by it. Like it has a, it has a lot of good features, but you'd expect out of a $2,000 gun that it would at least be reliable enough to run most ammo. Um, if not all the ammo, at least, you know, stuff like Glock, Glock will run anything you throw through it. You can throw, you can throw Winchester in it. You can throw steel case stuff in it and it'll run. This gun is very particular and it, it likes specific ammo. And I'm just not a huge fan of it. I mean, I don't I don't run steel case ammo um, in my pistols, but if I wanted to, I know I, I definitely know I couldn't run it in this gun. Um, and that's a that's a big problem to me. Um, I don't I don't really like the saying that you know if it can't eat the brass it or if it can't eat steel it shouldn't get brass kind of saying. Um, but man, I I just don't. It's just something about it. I just don't like it that much anymore. Um, I want to know what your guys' takes are on it. Um, it's a nice looking gun, but I just, I, I just can't carry it anymore. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about it, but that's my review of my Zev OZ9.